Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you on the Word of God. And it is May the 25th, 2023. Can you believe that? It is already entering into the end of the month but we're so thankful for each and every one of you for those who were able to join us for bible study on last night i thank you so very much and for those who are being led to go back and watch the replay i thank you as well last night we talked about kingdom living and so i believe uh if the holy spirit does not shift we will talk about more of kingdom living during our next Bible study. It is on my personal Facebook page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. Also on the church's Facebook page where we do our live Bible study. We did virtual only last night. We were not in the building, but to God be the glory. Uh, all went well as fulfilling assignments for the Lord. On yesterday, we had a great conversation talking about the word pivot, making a complete change. It's not always easy, but in order to continue to grow, to meet the needs of people, and when I say meet the needs of people, if you have a business, the needs of your home, I should always start there because that's where it begins. Ministry, we go through intervals of times of change. The needs of those we are connected to change. And so our needs change, right? And so we should be more in a place, a mindset, I should say, to adaptive change. I know recently, during my time of prayer, I know it was the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me, that I began to ask Him to show me how to be that mother that my adult children need at this stage in their life. My daughter is the oldest, and my son the younger, but they are at different periods and stations in their lives, and so that has been my prayer, not realizing that here I would be looking at it in another aspect, adding another word. The Holy Spirit is yet ministering to me about change, about pivoting, so that I could meet the needs of those that I am connected to in my household, in ministry, and in business. So I encourage you to take a look around. First of all, notice the changes that you're going through. Your needs have changed. What you really needed before to get you to where you are, well, that need has already been met. Now, what do you need to sustain you where you are? And what do you need to grow? That's where we are. What is it that we need to grow? That's my question. So yesterday, that simple prayer that I mentioned that I shared with Sisters in Unity, Lord, just show us what we need for today. I'm continuing that prayer. Show me what I need for today. There is something that I need today. I need something to sustain me. And I need something that's going to help me grow. 
because I don't want to stay in the same place that I was on yesterday. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow it may never be mine. I'm in today and so I need the Lord to show me and I believe that if he'll show me he'll lead me to it. That everything that I need today he's already provided. I'm showing up to get it. I want what the Lord has for me to survive for today. And I have faith for tomorrow because I want to grow. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. And you know what? On Tuesday, on Tuesday when we return at 1230 p.m., we're going to share with you a very recent conversation we've had with evangelist Christine Nettles. We had her on the show, uh, I believe it was in April. And so we invited her back. We invited her back. We sat down, we began to talk about scripture. And I'm going to share that conversation with you on Tuesday, 1230. So be sure to tune in for that broadcast so excited always a honor and a pleasure to sit down and talk to individuals about the word of god we have some other things lined up for you scheduling to have uh, another individual to come and share about her recent book release so that's all we're going to say about that uh, looking forward to just sharing more guests with you here on the balance of life. I think that's important. So I'm definitely uh, going to reach out more, accept more invitations um, for individuals to come and share here on the balance of life because that's what we need. All right. So as we're approaching the end of the month, I am reviewing what we've covered what progress we've made, what areas we were stagnant in. I believe it's important to review your month. Review your day at the end of the day, but review your month, review your quarter. Set margins for yourself your household, what is it that you want to do? Uh, it could be a project in the home. It, it could be preparing for vacation, working towards it, remodeling, uh, anything like that. You know, do you have small children at home? Uh, summer is approaching where school is going to be out. Are you prepared for it? In ministry, what am, what are the monthly margins? What are the quarterly margins? What are you working towards in ministry? That's something to think about. In business, what's going on with the monthly reports? What's going on with the quarterly reports? Where's the stagnant place? Where's where are the areas that just not they're not producing where are those areas and where are the areas that are overflowing so what I'm going to do is I have been in this book how to become a more effective leader is I am going to do the task of looking over our month I'm going to look over our month I'm going to look over our quarter at the different aspects that we have and do some pivoting do some changing that's my homework assignment uh, take a look at some things and just uh, streamline some stuff uh, do some cultivating some pruning and changing some things around seeing where we are uh, where is it that we want to be but here is the key component that I want to make sure 
that I add into it and I believe that the author has added into it make sure that we're praying that's right make sure that we are praying and we're being led uh, so I don't want to see these things through my eyes because I might misinterpret something I want to see this ministry through God's eyes I want to see things going on in my personal life through God's eyes and so I'm going to pray ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me I want things to be revealed so it's nothing that's going to be a one two three step because I really want to see this through God's eyes I don't want to touch the wrong thing I don't want to change the wrong thing uh, I don't want the wrong thing to remain. So there's so much to consider when we're looking at, say, balance in our lives. What needs to change? What is okay for now? What do we need to introduce in? So that's finding balance in our lives. That's adding just more to the component of pivoting, which is what we need to do. I wanted to share with you that we do have a special for the end of the year. It's going to continue until the end of the year, and it is for Hope and Truth Magazine. We are offering a special until the end of the year, 12 issues at $70. That's right. 12 issues at $70 that is saving on two magazines you will receive with your subscription a magazine at your location a physical magazine to your location every month at the price of $70 so that's 12 issues at seventy dollars that's giving you two free issues that's for a yearly subscription or you can have a six month subscription for more details on how you could subscribe to hope and truth magazine please email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com all of our digital subscriptions are absolutely free all digital subscriptions of Hope and Truth magazine are absolutely free and can be found at issue.com. Also, another thing, what's on the bookshelf here? What are we promoting for this month? We are promoting tools to help you with leadership. That's right, tools to help you with leadership. We have discovering your ministry and spiritual gifts it is a teaching of the fivefold ministry also we have kingdom leaders learning to lead we actually revised that book so excited we revised it to add kingdom leaders affirmations so we have those two book materials for you for your leadership reading also growing under spiritual maturity that's right we have a book growing unto spiritual maturity you can find these items on our website at angelferguson-ministries.com. Once again, you can find these leadership materials on our website at angelferguson-ministries. They are also available via Amazon. We do have a flyer on our website. We do have a flyer on our Facebook page for The Balance of Life. Take a look. We try and go in and and just keep things up to date just for you. After all, we are in a season, listen, we're in a season of change. We really are. Um, we have some things on the table asking 
God to lead us and guide us on which direction to take some things we want to do I tell you I really miss during uh, I miss doing conferences and uh, I, I miss doing that so I really want to get back to it but we're just waiting on the Lord and asking him to lead us and guide us I have a passion for leadership in ministry as well as in business so I really want to get back to that travel mode uh, I can even do it virtually on teaching for leadership and let me tell you this something is very very uh, I'm so transparent so yesterday we were in our to-do list and updating page by page on our website so yesterday we did some work on the balance of life page for our website and I saw something on there and I got ready to take it down but I felt this guilty feeling to not take it down and what that is is the Bible study for every other Tuesday at uh, I believe it's at 7 o'clock p.m. so we're praying and asking uh, because something interrupted my schedule and I did not get back into alignment with doing it. I did do a five-week Bible study uh, back at the end of uh, February and closed it out the beginning of March on the, uh, it was our book, The Keys of Promises. But I was supposed to do a Bible study tangible truths Bible study every other Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. something interrupted my schedule and I did not get back to it so I'm praying and asking God first of all I'm repenting because I, I believe that's an assignment I was supposed to do see I can be transparent with you and let you know guess what I am not perfect uh, we do all fall short and we do get off track and I completely forgot, I'm being real honest with you, I completely forgot, but when I went into the website to do some maintenance and updates, there it was mentioning our Tangible Truths Bible study every other Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. So I am asking my Father which is in heaven, first of all, to forgive me because I, I got interrupted. And I did not get back to it uh, how do we move from here is it something that uh, we're going to start up again how do we move from here so I will definitely let you know how we're going to move forward with tangible truths Bible study it is twice a month every other Tuesday so I'm asking you to pray with me pray for me because I abandoned that assignment. Whew, okay, and guess what? Nobody else knows that but you. <laughs> I'm sharing that here with you. Uh, scripture says over in James, the fifth chapter, confess, confess one to another. I'm confessing to you. It also says, pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. So I believe that if you would pray for me, in that area about getting back on track doing what God has instructed me to do and so do you see how I said I missed teaching well I had an assignment to do it every other Tuesday <laughs> see how that works so that urge that desire to get back to teaching I know it came from God the tangible truths Bible study so pray for me and as you pray for me God is going to heal your situation God is going to open up a door for you this area for me is about teaching opening the door and sometimes we wait for someone to invite us to come and teach we do but 
God will open up the door and and you open up your own door. We have such great technology now that you don't have to, if God has called you to teach and he's saying, okay, I, this is what I want you to teach on and you're waiting on, well, no one invited me to teach. So where am I supposed to teach this? He's going to open up the door. He might have you to start your own podcast, you start your own YouTube channel. We teach through our conference call website. So that's where we teach from. That's where we hold our classes at. And and so uh, as I'm listen, it's getting, oh God, it's getting more and more. I'm I'm being set up here because the other day I got a phone call very early in the morning. And when the person called me, they said, I hope I didn't interrupt you. I didn't know if you were in one of your classes teaching. So that is uh so that's the third that's the third thing for this week alone to be reminded that that is what I am normally doing. I am normally teaching a class and so I do miss it. Uh I I do need to get back to it. I just need to balance out some things and and stay focused. So keep me in prayer about that as I pray for you. I pray for your opportunities that God will open up a door for you to do what he has selected you to do for the kingdom of heaven. I use that word selected, chosen, because there is something that God created us for and it is for the kingdom of heaven. He chose every person to do a specific thing now we have a choice to inquire what that specific thing is and once we find out what it is we have a choice to accept it or reject it we really do we have a choice to believe in God everybody doesn't believe in God that's their choice I thought about this the other day as I was uh, just doing some personal study in the Word of God. And you know, the enemy is always present. Whenever good is there, so is evil. And so the enemy, the thought came to mind was, how do you know that this is true, that you're reading? And I thought about that for a moment. I said, you know what? I would prefer to put all my trust in God. And then find out that I was wrong rather than not trust him and end up in hell. That's right. So I would prefer to go ahead and trust him. Go ahead and read his word that he left for me. Go ahead and have faith. Go ahead and move in obedience. I would rather do that. Uh Uh-huh. I would rather do that. I would rather commit myself to God, to the things of Christ, and one day find out, hey, I was wrong, but I've trusted him, then to not trust him and end up in hell. So we all have a choice on what we believe in. We do. Everyone has a choice. You have a choice. God will not force himself on anyone. He gave. He gave. As a matter of fact, over in Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, as well as in the 28th, he says, this day I have put before you a choice that if you would keep my commandment if you would be obedient to my voice and I speak through my servants blessings and if you decide not to obey the voice of the Lord through my servant curses the choice is up to you now that will cause many of us to pivot and to change Let me take a look at that scripture with you. I'm going to turn over to Deuteronomy. 
because it's important to know that we have a choice I have a choice you have a choice Deuteronomy the 11th chapter the 26th verse says behold I set before you this day a blessing and a curse a choice today he sets before us a choice I'm going to believe the report of the Lord I am going to trust in the Lord I'm going to have faith I want to move in obedience that's my decision and listen don't let anyone come and try to shake you from your decision because you have a decision you can decide to do that which is good you can decide to do that which is not good but whatever decision you make there is a consequence behind it now the consequence may be good and the consequence may not be so good but remember you made the choice so over in Deuteronomy 11:26 it says behold I set before you this day a blessing and a curse going into 27 it says a blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you this day and a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known so the choice is yours goes back to the word pivot if you're being led and guided to change some things in your life being ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that's Romans 12 and 2 if you're being instructed if you're being led to change some stuff you have a choice you can either accept what you're being led and guided to do to make change for the betterment of your life or you can remain the same the choice is yours we all have to live with the decisions that we have made. Nobody can make you do anything unless it's by force of hurt, harm, and danger. But the choice is yours. The choice is absolutely yours. So examine yourself through the Lord our God. Examine yourself. Make sure that you have a clear understanding. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And listen, he's going to direct your path. The Lord our God is going to direct your path if you let him though you have to let him you have to give him an opportunity to lead and guide you we all do we all have a choice I don't know about you but I want my choice to be good I want my choice to be good for the kingdom of God if you're just tuning in this is Pastor Angel I thank you so very much for joining us today let God be first in your life and foremost ask him to lead and guide you continue to pray for me as I am praying for you Know that I love you without measure simply because I believe in the potential of you. Have a blessed day. Pray for somebody. Share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't forget we have a special guest coming to share with us on Tuesday at 1230. Evangelist Christine Nettles. 
go out and do something wonderful for yourself, for your family, and for somebody else. Have a blessed day.